everybody today at Inside Craft Show. HLG, can it replace your log? Single parenting. You gotta bring your kids on the camera test. Normally wouldn't do it, but uh, yeah, I ain't got no choice. No time, nothing. Who has to poop? Yeah. Yep. Well, that's just a picture. That's not the chart. These are all these colors. Okay. So let me caveat a couple of things in this episode, this very special episode, this very Jesse Spano episode of I'm so excited. Today we're going to talk about HLG versus log. So a lot of people have been asking, can HLG, uh, is it better to just use HLG over log uh, instead of log, I should say. And we just kind of wanted to talk it through a little bit because there are some pretty interesting things that happen. First off, let's just do a quick summary of what HLG is. It's an HDR flavor. That means it is high dynamic range. That does not mean that you can take HLG and suddenly gain stops out of it. I know in a previous video, we said that HLG has 17 and a half stops of dynamic range. I want you guys to understand that's in the display. That means when you put it up and watch it on an HDR television, an HLG equipped television, uh, having gone through DaVinci to grade it, because as of this moment, there's only two programs I know of that can deal with HLG content correctly with the same meta tags and all the junk that needs to make it work, and that's Baselight or DaVinci. So if you're not working in those two, won't matter. So that's one. The second part of this is that as soon as you take HLG into your editing program, if you're not using Baselight or DaVinci, then you are converting the color space instantaneously, magically with Ninja Cats to Rec 709. So you're going to lose all of that metadata tagging and all that good stuff that you want. So just keep in mind that unless you are finishing in HDR, which HLG is part of, unless you're finishing in HDR, then shooting in HLG on the front end doesn't make as much sense as shooting log or natural or something else. However, we did find some interesting little notes inside of the tests that we did. The next caveat is, like I said, if you're not editing in DaVinci or you're doing a final grade in DaVinci or a final pass in, in uh, Baselight, then you're going to have to do a round trip workflow. And if you don't know what round trip workflow is, it's probably not your time just yet to jump into uh, creating HDR content. It's a very complex issue. There's a lot to it. People are going to say it's simple, but in reality, the HDR workflow, what we've gone through, doesn't work that way. The third caveat, if you just want to see HLG content, let's say you have an HLG HDR television, then you can take directly from your camera, plug it directly in if yours takes an SD card slot, or you can hook your camera directly up to it. So keep all that in mind. Now, let's take a look at some of the footage and start talking it through. So the first thing we're going to look at is a color chart. I'm going to show you four different picture profiles, four that we felt were closest related. We have Log, HLG, Natural, and Cine-D. Here they are. So now we have Natural ISO F8 180. I just want to show what it looks like. So you can see there's the Natural. That's a, a fan favorite. There's Cine-D. Again, you can see the shift in color, and that's kind of what we're looking at is, is if you look at the shift of light and color, uh, the way it's exposing out, um, the, all the settings are exactly the same. You can see HLG drops it dramatically, so there's a huge drop. It's not like log where you see the, the light increase. You actually see this decrease. So if we look at log, then poof, uh, you see it, uh, it seems brighter, and then you have a little more leveled off image. There's a little bit of a curve there that's partially from the lamp. Now, this next section is where we shot everything four stops underexposed starting with log. So there's the before, here's the after. You can see the noise in it and how it shifts. The same thing will go through here. Here's the HLG. Look how dark that is at four under. Uh, and then when you bring it up, you start to see that same noise and the color really just starts to get super saturated. It's the same thing out of Cine D. Really not a fan of pushing Cine D uh, in a dynamic range since it feels way oversaturated and needs a reduction. But what I find interesting is how close natural looks. Natural looks pretty solid, uh, matching HLG that is, so it gets close. Okay, so this next clip uh, is something that Jeff graded. So this is running through the full DaVinci process. Uh, it's an HLG clip. 
And then there's also a V-log or log clip. Uh, I'm not gonna identify which is which, I'm just gonna let you take a look at them. Uh, if you wanna see the rest of the footage and join the discussion on any of the stuff that's been run through the DaVinci grade, like a professional colorist really working the process, then check us out tomorrow, Tuesday, on the live show in which we're gonna kinda of be talking about log, HLG, all kinds of great stuff, tons of shenanigans as always. Uh, so please join us tomorrow, join the conversation, join the community as we all kind of uh, talk through this process. Um, anyway, here's those clips. Anybody wanna see my, uh, you wanna, do you wanna read a book? Or something? Sure. Like, okay. Daryl, okay. you want some chips? This next set of clips is, uh, I've labeled what they are. I just kind of wanted to show, uh, this is me doing a great. So this is me taking uh, HLG and log into Premiere Pro CC 2017. Um, I did not use any LUTs on them. I just went straight for a straight grade uh, across the board um, and kind of dropped them in. Now keep in mind the HLG is basically converting over to Rec 709 when you do this. But let's take a look at it. Yeah, so here is um, one of my kids. Uh, we're just kind of staring out. Again, very difficult to film kids. Uh, maybe not the best test subjects, but you know, I needed something and, and it gave us something to do. Daddy daughter time, daddy daughter's time, I should say. You can kind of see uh, the balance in here. Now, here's what I find most fascinating. This is a pretty shot. This is HLG. It's very pretty. Saturation is very good. Um, the one thing is pay attention in the details. Look at the leaves uh, specifically, sometimes even in the wood. You'll notice that it, it does mush a little bit. The HLG does seem to mush a slight bit inside of the details, especially in the leaf element, the leaves, I should say. I can see a detail crunch. Skin tone wise, HLG does pretty good. Um, my daughter is pretty fair skinned. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of a saturation bump. I did not do a bunch of saturation tweaking on this. It's just what it is. Uh, you can see in this next piece here, which is gonna be log, that's a little bit closer to her skin tone. She's a little bit, a little more on the lighter side. She's pretty pale looking. Um, and you can see the colors are a little more natural. Now, this is not about doing stylistic approach. This is about color correction. Again, we've talked about the difference between the two. This shot is poorly out of focus, probably because I was chasing my daughter who was trying to jump off the bridge, the little one, by the way. And you can kind of see the difference, but look at the trees on the top left-hand side. That's where you can really notice the detail shift. There's also something really interesting that happens in the back highlights. If you look at center third to the right a little bit, you can see those pop. The trees there seem a little bit better, but the trees in the top left seem mushier and I lost detail in it. You can also see it on the bark of the trees. If you go back and watch again, pay attention this time to look at the bark of the trees and see which ones give you more detail or less detail. Log looks better to me in that case. Okay. So that's kind of approaching it from this level. If I were to give you a final assessment, I would say that I don't know why you would shoot an HLG unless you were planning to deliver an HLG. I think the next closest uh, version of that to give you a similar look um, is going to be natural. And the reason I say that is, is just simply this. HLG requires you to finish and work the entire color space in HLG. It needs to be in rec. Is it 2100 or 2020? 2020, it's gotta be done in Rec 2020. So until we get to that spot and you can actually edit natively in 2020, there's no reason to really mess with HLG because you're not gaining any benefits from it. That said, it does create an interesting sort of stylistic approach. It's kind of like a mix between natural and Cine D. That's kind of what we came up with, is it's kind of got this mix between the two. Obviously, you're gonna to need to expose more. It's darker, so be, be conscious of that. My wife's calling. Okay, so don't forget to like, subscribe, share, come hang out with us tomorrow. If you wanna see uh, the definitive results in terms of how Jeff approached it, who is a world-class colorist and bearded-faced man. Is that fair? Sure. Whatever. If you wanna check that out, don't forget to join us Tuesdays, uh, sometimes, most Tuesdays, almost every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Central Time, right there, Craft Show, youtube.com slash craft show slash live. Does that sound right? That sounds pretty good. Yeah, either way, check us out. Come hang out with us, ask questions. Uh, we're gonna go. You're just hanging out? Why don't you click one of those links then? Do us a favor, click a link. No? All right. I'm sure there's a great video to watch. Uh, maybe it's the monkeys. <laughs>